Hi guys, welcome back to the show. So on this week's episode of Bossy Bougie, um, we so apologize for last week. I have not been feeling well. AJ hasn't been feeling well either. So it's just been a long two weeks. So we're, you know, trying to make it work with this video. So this is for you guys. <laughs> So today we're just gonna, you know, it's not gonna be a random video, but it is gonna be a topic of gay, not just gay, but just about ninety percent of us gays um, being abused by our relationships or family or friends or even family. But the other percent, of course, I wouldn't just say straight, but you know, just the other half of the crew. But as, as a whole, um, we all probably have been abused in some type of way, whether it's sexual abuse or verbal abuse, etc. But we do want you guys to know that we're here for you guys. So it's about me versus you guys to know that I have been abused um, by relationship, of course, my ex um, was abusive. I mean, clearly. You actually kind of skipped the part where we were supposed to talk about like what we were doing like this week's episode guys is supposed to be about um our childhood trauma and just things that we've gone through in our lives i was going i was kids. i was getting that but you were telling them i wasn't getting what was going i wasn't getting to that before you even I know. said what it was about well yeah that's they true kind of confused. so sorry if you guys didn't know yeah. but it's about the trauma um of our life of what we've been through as a child growing up into this world. Yes, as a gay child growing up. Um, whether you're gay, straight, etc. But we're talking about us gays because to me it's been um, hell growing up. Obviously, and we experience more trauma. And we've been as more trauma than any other person they can it's say. It's only either straight or gay. I mean, well, no, sorry guys. Right. Uh, and Just forgot about sexual. the other crew members. Uh, basically, homosexuals experience more. So, you know, we <laughs> we're here to help. We know we all been through it. Um, whether it's talk to a counselor, your mom, or even how to talk to yourself. But in my whole theory of growing up, yourself, really. um, I say whether it's talk to yourself, it's not, it's not okay to talk to yourself. But sometimes it is because you just want to get your thoughts through. You just don't answer yourself. I'm if you don't shit. answer yourself, I think you're not crazy. <laughs> but, you know. I have Sorry guys, we're like on this like medicine that we're taking, so it's been um, tonight. <laughs> today. Well, um, you know, I've been abused by not physically abused by my family, of course. My father's no longer here, rest in peace. But you know, we all been through life where whether it's whoopings or child in the abuse corner or whatever it I is. Mean, I remember getting beat when I was a child, so you know, our pa- I mean, most you know, my parents, get, most black parents, be most African American, um, gay people, um, get the worst because, you know, we all come out the closet, let our parents know, but then they don't like it. So then they have parents, they get in my house. So then they grow up into this wonderful person that they are out here. Um, trying to live their life, but then they need their parents, but their parents are not accepting them. You know, like me, you know, I moved out of my house when I was 17. Um, now my birthday's coming up. I'm not going to tell you guys my age, <laughs> but um, my birthday's coming up. And just know it's been rough growing up, but then after 17, I moved out. I never mm-hmm. came back. My parents still to this day, well, my mom and my stepdad, which is my, you know, you guys understand. Um, when we moved back, which I was still my mom. But I'm not coming back. You know, I visit her every blue moon. So that's part of my story. So, yeah. Yeah. And just for me, I mean, my childhood definitely was interesting. I had to move around a lot. Um, being in the military and, you know, my father was strict. Um, my whole family on my dad's side is actually really strict for some reason. Um, but yeah, I, when I was in like high school, I would get bullied and picked on. I actually had a, a time where I was in high school and I had to call my sister, um, to come and help me because this boy was like, I feel like everybody had, I feel like everybody had that story. I know, right? Because they just want to mess with us. 
Yeah. Rest in peace to my to, sister. They just want to mess with us. Yeah. Everybody but yeah, just... I had to call my sister to come and save me because this boy was messing with me. And he actually kicked me and I had flew down the stairs. And I was like crying and stuff, of course, because it hurt. And I had to go. I went to the principal's office and told on him and that he was mad. Um, that he got in trouble, but I'm like, you can't be kicking people downstairs. And then when my sister found out, she was actually going to beat him up. But, you know, I told her, I don't want her to get suspended. So, so yeah, it was a really weird childhood. I feel like everybody goes through, like, weird, different things. But, yeah, and then I did get, like, whoopings and beat with stinging cords. I mean, you know, you have been in a corner before, you know. If you guys don't know what the corner is, the corner is where you put the kids. I don't know if I really had it. I've been in the corner, yeah. My my dad was an asshole, even though he's no longer here, guys. You know, your your parents could be an asshole. To be honest, most parents are assholes. We just gonna put it out there. Most parents are assholes. White, black, Asian, Caucasian, whatever, they're all assholes. Some kid in their life (laughs) feel like we feel as Americans don't like their parents, but we can't understand their language, but we just the feeling because, you know, that's the people are coming to the United States just so they can learn our language. So, once again, like, comment, subscribe, share, and share it to your family and friends. So, yes, thanks. For, tuning for watching, in, guys. more videos will be coming up soon. We also, yes, we will be um, posting two videos this week. Actually. It will, sure will. Um, so that we will make up for last week, and then this month we're we're gonna have some big surprises for you guys coming. So just wait and see. But thanks for tuning in, and remember that that's bougie. Stay blessed, and see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.